The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew chapter 13, beginning at the 10th verse. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look, but do not see, and hear, but do not listen, or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Friends, the words of Jesus in today's Gospel reading suggest that there is a difference between looking and seeing, and between listening and hearing. It is possible to look without really seeing, and to listen without really hearing. What do we see when we look? What do we hear when we listen? Jesus complains that when many of his contemporaries looked upon him, they did not see him for who he truly was, the one through whom God was powerfully at work, and in whom God was uniquely present. When they listened to him, they did not hear his words as words from God. In contrast to many of his contemporaries, Jesus declares his disciples to be blessed because they saw Jesus for who he really was when they looked upon him, and they heard God's word when they listened to what he said. Jesus reflected in sadness on the failure of many to see and hear, because in turning towards him with open eyes and attentive ears, they would have been healed by Jesus, in the language of Isaiah whom Jesus quotes. Where do we stand? Is it with many of Jesus' contemporaries or with his disciples? We would all want to be embraced by the beatitude that Jesus addresses to his disciples. Blessed are your eyes because they see, your ears because they hear. Yet we are aware that we are not always fully attentive to the Lord when he speaks to us and shows himself to us. We are always on the way towards a clearer seeing and a more finely attuned hearing of the Lord who is present among us.